Okay, um, you're looking at a blank screen right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot the uh, boot the system up, and we're going to see how things work. Okay, it's in the process of getting things booting now. Okay, and we're starting to boot up now. I think you can see it. Uh, and basically, we booted right into uh, the desktop uh, of the... Um, the Lee Maker uh, desktop for uh, the it's a Raspbian for uh, um, Banana Pro. Okay, and we have a few applications up on the uh, left hand side, and we're going to see if we can. I use their existing web browser. Let me move this over a little bit here, um, and we're going to open up their web browser. It's called NetSurf. It's right here. I'm going to double click on that. Okay, so we got a NetSurf here and we're going to go ahead and uh, and try and go to BBC News. Okay, everything uh, looks like it's working. Uh, currently, I have this uh, attached to a wired um, Ethernet cable. Uh, so we're going out um, through the wired Ethernet. And as you know, the Banana Pro has a, um, a, uh, a wireless uh, connection. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, disconnect the uh, wireless connection. I mean the wired connection. Okay, that's now disconnected. And let's see if we can go to any other website now. Let's do routers. Couldn't resolve host. So we got an error here because we're no longer on the uh, connected to the internet. To be expected. Now down in this corner, let me see if I can move in here a little bit and show you. Uh, down in this area here, we have... Uh, Wi-Fi configuration. So let's double click on that and we get a, uh, a WPA uh, GUI uh, which we want to try and uh, and connect for the adapters to get things going. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can uh, scan for our Wi-Fi uh, hotspot and if you notice it's totally blank. The reason is that uh, Raspbian uh, for Banana Pro does not include uh, the necessary drivers for uh, uh, making the uh, Wi-Fi that's on the board work, which is really unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunately. So I'm going to show you how to get that working. Okay, I have a, a terminal uh, uh, up right now, and... Um, uh, we you have to type in some commands to actually get the uh, Wi-Fi working. Uh, unfortunately, it's um, that's the only way I I know to get it working. So we're gonna go ahead and type uh, the commands, and I'll try and include it in the notes. So it's sudo mo uh, mod probe ap sixty two ten. And then we're going to do enter. And then we have to do the password. The, pa the default user and password is uh, banana pie. And uh, that's the uh, user ID. And then password is banana pie. Okay. So that's the first step. Now I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a list uh, of what's running here. So we're going to do list mod. Okay, and it looks like we got now have the module AP sixty two ten running. That's what we see on the on the first uh, uh, item uh, there. 
Now, uh, if we go back to NetSurf, let me go ahead and bring that up. Okay, could not resolve NetSurf. Let's try this. And uh, let's do this. Let's see if we can get anything here. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's open it up again. Okay, we still don't have a, a resolution here. So we have to um, do a, another command, and I'm going to go ahead and do that in terminal. Let me close this thing. Let's go ahead and close it completely. Okay, we are going to do sudo dh client. dash v okay let's see what we got here oop D -A -O. I got dnc let me try that again uh sudo dhc l i e n t dash v Okay, let's see what we have at NetSurf now. And we still can't resolve it. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, we've uh, installed the uh, module uh, for the uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, on onboard Wi-Fi for Banana Pro. And now basically what we have to do is we have to uh, release the uh, uh, current IP address which was assigned through the uh, through the um, hardwired Ethernet connection that we disconnected and then uh, renew the, 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 uh, the connection. So what we need to do is type sudo um, dh client and then uh, uh, minus r and that should release let me type in the password for sudo okay so we have released the um, IP address. Now we have to renew the IP address and we do that sudo dhclient without anything. Okay, so now what we're going to do is test to see if we now have an internet connection. Uh, first of all, we need to do, we need to configure the Wi Fi. So let's see if we get. Um, any indication on the Wi-Fi at this point. I move this over here and we're going to do a scan. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see this. It said WLAN 0. And now we want to do uh, select our network and we're going to do a scan, see what we can find. And you should let this sit for a little while. You can do multiple scans, but uh, I know it takes a little while to populate. There we go. Okay, so we got a number of, um, of uh, hotspots available to connect to. This is the one that I know will work, uh, ASUS 2G. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and close this. And that pot should be, oh, let me try it again, connect. Oh, let me do another scan. Okay, we'll double click on this. Okay, now we got... Uh, we need to put in our um, our uh, password key. Let me look it up because it's a long one. And uh, I'm going to uh, pause it here until I, f I type it in. Just hold on. Okay, I got the uh, the 
a router password uh, typed in for the uh, wireless uh, access point. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, and do an add. And uh, that should connect us. We're going to connect. And we're connected. We have an IP address and we're connected. So we can go ahead and close this. I'm going to minimize the terminal just in case. And we're going to open up NetSurf again. And we're going to hit on BBC News. And we're uh, back connected to the internet. Okay, now unfortunately if we shut down at this point, we'd have to go through all those processes. And we definitely don't want to do that every time we turn the unit off. So we got to make a slight change uh, to a, uh, a file that is uh, basically a configuration file. So we need to type in sudo nano and nano is a text editor uh, in Linux. And then we type in slash etc slash modules. Make sure I got spelled right. Oh, don't have it right. Go back here. U L E S. Okay, return. Okay, now we're in the. Um, in uh, nano doing a editing of the of the file. Let me see if I can bring it up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, let's see here. Okay, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, of uh, lines here. Some are commented out with the pound sign, uh, and you'll see one that uh, uh, says um, uh, display GPU for SATA support, etc. Well, I'm going to put in a, um, uh, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to do a comment line. Wi-Fi. Carriage return. And then right under this, we're going to type AP. Uh, 6210. No spaces. Okay, and that's at the very bottom here. I don't know if you can see it's right here. AP 6210. We're going to do Control X. Uh, save my mo uh, module buffer. We're going to do yes. And uh, file name to write the same name. So we're going to just hit return. Okay, so now we have made the modification that will automatically at boot up, load the um, uh, that module for Wi-Fi, and uh, it should uh, automatically sign us on. So we're going to test this out, and what we're going to do is we're going to reboot. And at this point, I'm going to I'm going to shut down the terminal, and we're going to see the other thing. It's kind of interesting here. Let's see what happens here. There's no option to uh, log out. Uh, there's an option to log out, but no option to shut down. It has a button up in this area. Let me show you that. Uh, let me just move this over here. And if you can see here, right at the top, that red button is log out. Let's see if it works. And as you can see, that button does not work. It, uh, uh, even though it says it will log you out or, or will shut down the computer, it doesn't shut it down. And the other thing, if you go down to the bottom menu, let me see if I can show you this. You can bring up this little uh, menu here. There's no option to shut down uh, from the from the desktop, which. Definitely is a problem as far as I can see with the software. And um, so the way we're going to reboot here is we're going to, uh, there is a, um, a shutdown button. I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down completely just by holding, you can unplug it too, but uh, I'm going to use the button that they have on the, uh, on the board to do uh, 
a power down and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've shut down the uh, Banana Pro and we're going to uh, power it back up. Okay, it's now powered up and we're going to wait for it to boot up. Okay, here we go, we're booting up. Okay, we are back on um, the desktop, as you can see. Pull back a little bit. Okay, now, okay, currently the um, uh, there's no uh, wired uh, Ethernet connection. Uh, I booted it up without the wired Ethernet connection. So let's see if we have a connection to the Internet. I'm going to hit NetSurf again. And BBC News. And we have an internet connection. So we are connecting through Wi-Fi. This process is the only way you can get Wi-Fi to work uh, until, you, uh, until you install that module and make the modifications. Uh, Wi-Fi will not work. You'll have to have a wired connection. And... Um, uh, you know, that's unfortunate because uh, the whole one of the selling points of Banana Pro is um, the fact that it has built in a Wi-Fi. And it would have been nice had they uh, installed that module uh, when you, uh, you know, from the uh, image of, of Raspbian for Banana Pro. Uh, it's really kind of puzzling that they didn't do that. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop this video here, and we're going to go on. I'm going to show you some other things that uh, you got to do manually to get this uh, really using all the features of uh, Banana Pro. The next uh, video is going to be uh, to show you that it doesn't come up uh, recognizing the hard disk that you have connected. You have to go through a process to actually get the... Uh, disk to mount and to have it mount as a normal uh, uh, course of events. It will not mount uh, out of the box when you uh, first uh, load this operating system. Okay, thanks a lot.